What's up? And welcome back to the garage. And today we're going to build this knife heat treating forge. Um, now this is not my design. Uh, I got it off a forum and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Uh, but yeah, heat treating it with the two propane torches uh, like I did that first night. Yeah, you know, I think I can do better than that. So I figured I'd make this little forge. So let's get to it. Okay, here's everything we need to build the little forge. Now we got a, blow, a blowtorch, some fire bricks that I've cut in half here. Originally they look like this, and there's their dimensions. We got some furnace cement, a spade bit, some baling wire, some hardware cloth, coping saw, drill bit, a hole saw, unfortunately without the drill bit in the middle, a drill. Okay, here what we're doing is drilling out the fire bricks that I've cut in half with the hole saw. And since I got the hole saw without the guiding drill bit in the middle, I'm using a metal rod to line it up as best I can and get the holes in the middle. Okay, so here we've drilled about halfway through with the hole saw, and now I'm just using the spade bit to remove some of the material. We don't want to go all the way through with this last brick. Um, except for at the bottom of it so we could feed whatever material we're heating up like all the way through the forge uh, kind of and wash it in the the hottest part of the forge if we need to if, if we have a piece that's longer than the forge here I'm taking the third brick back and going to drill it out with the one spade bit and as you can see here uh, this is where the blowtorch will feed into the forge and I put it up at the top so that the fire would swirl around inside the forge and spread out a bit more. So here I'm drilling through all four corners of each one of the fire bricks. Uh, that way we can run the baling wire, shown here, through each of the four corners and hold all four pieces of the forge together. Okay, here we can see the whole apparatus put together. Uh, you can see the hole in the back, so you can feed longer pieces of metal through and where the blowtorch goes. So the next step is to add the uh, hardware metal cloth around it, and this you know, gives the structure more support. It's pretty easy, you just wrap it around it, and I use the baling wire to hold everything together, cut holes for the blowtorch and for the back entrance. Uh, pretty simple. So the last step of, the, of building this forge was to coat the inside with uh, furnace cement, but something happened with my phone and I ended up losing the footage. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you here the, uh, the inside of the forge. And when I first heated it, um, I don't know, maybe I didn't let it dry long enough or I, apply, I put it on too thick, but uh, as you can see, it bubbled up a little bit, but um, it doesn't really seem to affect the performance. You know, it still gets, super hot <laughs> so I thought I'd give you a little demonstration of how the forge works it's real simple real easy to build real easy to use just uh, light the torch and stick it in the torch hole <laughs> uh, here is it heating up pretty fast it takes about 20 minutes to heat up throw some steel in there that's about 8 inches of uh, 1095 steel 2 inches wide I think it's 3 16 thick so it's a pretty big chunk of metal so it gets pretty hot here it doesn't heat, heat this big piece of metal super even but it um, it does heat it up pretty well as you can see uh, you know it's no longer magnetic which means it's hotter than 1475 degrees or something like that you can see it's cooled down and it's still hotter so uh, it gets plenty hot, so when you're using this, you just got to make sure that you're, you know, washing the blade and heating it even. You can't just set it and forget it. So I was kind of thinking about putting uh, another blowtorch on the other side to heat it a little bit more even. <laughs> but I think this will work pretty good. You know, my, the knives I'm going to be making aren't going to be near as big as this piece of steel. But I think this will make uh, heat treating my knives a lot easier. I'll put links in the description down below to all the supplies and tools that I use to build this forge if anyone else is interested in uh, building it. If you do decide to build it, just be careful, you know, the forge does get hot when you 
when you're using it so make sure you're not using it around anything flammable and uh, you know be careful not to burn yourself <laughs> well I hope you liked this video and if you did you know like subscribe all that stuff have a great day